What is going on everybody, T presents here back again bringing you guys episode 2 of my new My Team series. As you can see, he's an all bronze team, I'm an all bronze team. So on paper, it's an even matchup, but it wouldn't play out to be that way. You guys know in the last episode, I really talked up Carlos Delfino. You saw him hit a 3 to start the game, he hits another 3 right here. And that pretty much was the story of the game. I would dribble and drive, kick it out to my shooters. And we knocked down a ton of open threes. And Carlos Delfino pretty much didn't miss any shots this game. And speaking of not missing shots, how about LaMarcus Aldridge the last two games in the playoffs? You guys got to comment down below who you think is going to win the NBA championship because these playoffs seem wide open. It's the first time in NBA history we had six series one to one after two games. Before the record was five this year, we had six series tied at 1-1. One one. We had the Mavericks Spurs. We got Brooklyn Toronto. We got Washington up 2-0 on the Bulls. We got Portland up 2-0 on the Rockets. So I don't think many people were expecting that, but it's definitely been a great playoffs. We got Oklahoma City and Memphis tied 1-1. One one. They're playing tonight. You guys got to tell me what's most surprising to you and who do you think is going to go on to win the championship honestly the most interesting series to me is probably the Spurs and Mavericks those are two teams I think can make a serious run in the Western Conference and it's crazy because the Mavericks are what an eight seed and I think they're one of the better teams in the NBA Dirk obviously a ton of playoff experience I mean when it comes down to crunch time he's one of the best players you can have on your squad and then they got Monte Ellis this year he's really playing well and honestly Jose Calderon I think he's one of the better point guards in the league. I wouldn't say he's like top 10, but I mean, he's definitely well, really good all around, great passer, really smart with the ball. So I think the Mavericks going to give San Antonio a lot of problems, and San Antonio is the top two team in the NBA. So that just shows how wide open these playoffs are. You guys see we come out with the victory, pretty much blew this guy out, wasn't that close of a game, which is why I want to take a couple minutes to talk about the playoffs. You guys can... Comment down below, I'll be sure to respond to that. You can see we shot 61%, 63% from 3, 15 of 24, but you can't blame me, they were all wide open shots. So we advanced to the 8th seed, and we got ourselves a bronze pack that didn't include a player. I thought for sure we were going to get a new bronze player, so I told myself I was going to save up until I could buy a gold pack, but I decided to open up an emerald pack. They're a little over 10,000 MT. And we get Cody Zeller. I know someone else commented in my last video said save up for gold packs. But with emeralds, I see people pulling silvers and golds out of them. So for 10,000 MT, they seem to provide the best quality. But you can see there we get bronze Cody Zeller. So not much of a pack. I will be opening another one at the end of the episode. But first, we got to get into the first game of seed number 8. You can see we're battling on that offensive glass like we always do. And it says my opponent has left the match. I ended up getting the victory. I jumped into a new game. And here's what probably a lot of you guys have been waiting for. My all bronze team versus LeBron, Hakeem, Tim Duncan, Ruby Curry, Ruby Andre Iguodala, Magic Johnson. You guys get the deal. So my first serious test, you can see he starts off the game, MJ getting the and one. And then he started kind of playing cheesy trying to take charges so I decided to go with a little bit of a 1-3-1 zone he didn't have a bunch of shooters on the court he had Magic Johnson Michael Jordan LeBron James so definitely like I said not a lot of shooters so we're up 4-3 at this point Thompson underneath battling with the big boys getting that offensive board making it 6-3 now LeBron shooting an open three that's exactly what we want we don't want him getting to the hoop so now we're out and running you can see he's trying to take a charge in the backcourt again that leaves Delfino wide open Connecting for three, and he is taking an early timeout. But with these players, he can get right back into it. LeBron thought he got fouled. He's complaining on the ground. So we're looking to push the ball. We find CJ Watson, and he connects from distance. And we're up 12 to 3. LeBron taking another three pointer. Nothing going on. So you know we're pushing the ball. CJ Watson finding Delfino again. He misses it, but Thompson. Got the offensive rebound, ends up losing it. Now my opponent has a fast break, finds LeBron, but look at that block, Carlos Delfino. I've been talking him up in all these episodes, and it's paying off. He's absolutely dominating here. 
Get him with the pump fake. He thought for sure I was going to go for another three. We end up pulling up for the mid-range jumper. And now on defense, getting another steal. Finding Thompson, running the court, throwing it down. And we're up 16-5 to over a team that outlevels us by 25-30 to levels at every single position. The new guy, Cody Zeller, on the block. And then for some reason, it said that the network conditions were too poor for the game to continue. I don't get a win. I don't get a loss. It wasn't lagging, so I don't know what happened. I was up 18-7. to Anything could have happened in that game. That guy for sure probably would have mounted a comeback, but we'll never know. So I decided why not go ahead and open another Emerald Pack. I feel like I'm at least going to get a silver or gold player out of this, but I really hope I get that Emerald Lamarcus Aldridge. He was the first gold player I pulled in 2K14 Next Gen. And who are we going to get? Chase Buttinger. So we don't get anything out of this pack. I shouldn't have went against your guys' word. I shouldn't have went against my own word. I need to save up for a gold pack. So no more pack openings for at least another episode. But I got some more gameplay coming for you guys. Hopefully get some more competitive games. And hopefully we can get a few more games that actually finish. And if you guys enjoyed this episode, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Comment down below about the playoffs. What surprised you? Who do you think is going to win it all? And subscribe to the channel if you're new. And be sure to follow me on Twitter for the quickest and easiest way for me to get back in touch with you guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.